the operator hits start, the parts are lowered over the boil sump, as I was mentioning. Just above the boil sump itself to let the parts condense the solvent around it and, and vapor flush or vapor wash the parts itself. The parts will then, after a certain number of minutes, will come over to the rinse sump, immerse into the rinse sump, and then come up into the chilling coils area to uh, boil off the solvent that uh, remains on the basket and the parts itself so that the parts come out completely dry and it's conserving and reusing as much solvent as possible on the uh, system itself. You can see now the parts are immersed in the rinse sump with the ultrasonics on. You can see the cavitation on the surface of the ultrasonics, the surface of the solution. Solvent continuously redistilling itself. Up. The automation will come up just above the, or right near the uh, cooling coils, and you'll see the solvent drying right off of the, the basket and the parts themselves and the automation to ensure that you don't have any drag out of residual solvent coming into the uh, atmosphere and conserving solvent usage. that the remaining solvent starting to completely flash off. After the stage is complete, the basket will come up and again just kind of pause right above the chilling coils to again conserve any remaining solvent that could be on the parts, the basket itself, and carrier. After the drying is complete, the basket will transition back over above the boil sump. and then the basket will come back up to its home position, at which point the operator can take the parts out of the basket and move on to the next stage of manufacturing.